Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna learn how to implement the order flow settings in NinjaTrader 8 uh, using Bell Order Flow Ultimate. So, I'm gonna go to file uh, from here. I'm gonna go and open the Nifty Future Charts. So, let me open the Nifty Future Charts. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to set up the order flow charts for Nifty and Bank Nifty, is what we're gonna apply. And uh, primarily, I prefer using uh, order flow on a five minute scale and I would like to load I, I, I would like to keep it lightweight so I always try to load with only 10 uh, days of data every day is a new day for us so we don't carry forward much from the previous day into the today's order flow and uh, the trading hours I'm gonna keep it like NSC right and uh, ensure that all the settings are fine and press ok you should be able to see the five minute charts of nifty now once you are done with that, uh, now I am going to right click, I will go to the indicators, from the indicators I will go to the bell TPO, from here I will go and pick up uh, bell order flow ultimate. So once I selected that, uh, I am going to straight away go and set the brick size settings, that is the most important one and also the lot size settings. Lot size settings for nifty is 50. And brick size, I'm gonna use a default. 40 is the value. I'm gonna use it for uh, Nifty. 40 multiplied by 0 0.05. 0 0.05 is a tick size. So 40 multiplied by 0 0.05, I'll be able to get a two point DPO. Followed by that, uh, the delta calculation type, I'll leave it as it is. And then uh, here comes the most important part, the plot candle bars. I'm gonna use the uh, overlay plot over here. So instead of NT plot, I'm going to use the overlay plot and the default view type, I'm going to use instead of bid and ask type, I prefer using a bid and ask imbalance method and uh, followed by that, I'll scroll down a little, right? And uh, from here, uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to go and use the charting background. I'm going to change it to my favorite uh, uh, slate gray active background, dark gray. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to scroll down further. So one of the important thing here is the, the most important one is the bid and ask volume balance multiple. So this is comes under the price view section. So here I'm going to change it to 10 times. So I'm going to use it like 10 times over here. I'm going to scroll down. So there are a lot of controls you can see, a lot of table controls are there. Anyways, once I apply the chart, I'll show you what are the controls I want or what I remove it because not everything in the table I'll be using. So let me scroll down here. So once the color settings are over, the next one is what? The next one is I'll go and uh, pick up from the, uh, for time being, uh, I'm gonna use the show entry lines, opposite signals. So let it be as it is. The TR alert for timing, I'm gonna disable it. MR alert, if you want, you can keep it. So these are like signals. So if in case we don't want, you can uh, disable those uh, alerts. So it detects the patterns, TR alert, MR alert, SH alert, uh, unfinished auction. So all those things I'm gonna disable it. Stacked imbalance, if in case, if you would like to see that, you can have it. A minimum of C three cell count is what it is. Uh, uh, it's, it's very, very important over here because three continuous blocks of stacked momentum, it will highlight in the form of zones automatically. And you can also see uh, look back days also, how many days you want to keep up. So if you want to keep only for one recent day, you can say like one, or if you want to look for even yesterday session also, then you can uh, extend it to two days back. So in my case, I'm gonna keep it like one itself. And then followed by that. So more or less the settings have been already done. I'll press apply and I'll press okay. So settings are very minimal in order flow compared to market profile so once i'm done with that i should be able to see the charts so of course one important thing here is like i prefer using it in a white color background uh, particularly with order flow so i just change the background color to white so that is one thing which i always uh, prefer to use white because the color combination suits the white color background particularly for the overlay plots so here, uh, once the settings are done, you can see that the, the zones will be able to clearly see it. If at all any stacked uh, imbalance zones are there, it, it clearly highlights in the form of zones. 
right and uh, yeah so another thing here is like the table so table when it comes to table you can control the table from here uh, i prefer using delta i don't keep the bid and ask volume separately i, I look into the total volume i look into the cumulative delta uh, even though we do have some of the strategies based on min delta and max delta i prefer not to keep it so i'm going to disable delta percentage i'm going to disable the max delta i'm going to keep the uh, delta cumulative delta and volume alone min delta also i'm going to remove it so only three things in the table delta cumulative delta and volume so rest everything we're going to keep it as it is so now once once everything is set i'm going to create a template around that i'll right click i'll go to the template let me click on save us so i'm going to say like my order flow template bell tpo that's the name i'm going to give it to that so once it is done now it is very it's going to be very easy to create for bank nifty let me show you how so for bank nifty i'm going to first go and pick up the bank nifty here so bank nifty instrument has been picked up i'm going to select the bell market profile i mean bell order flow template here and i'm going to press okay of course i have to do the settings also because settings for bank nifty is slightly different so once the standard template is applied i have to right click i have to go to the indicators and from here i'm going to pull up the uh, lot size i'm going to change the lot size to 25 and i'm going to change the brick size to 100 so 100 is the default settings i'll be using it on a 5 minute scale so please remember that i have to change it to 5 minute scale So let me apply. I'll press OK. So one thing is like I have to change the time frame to five minutes. Right? So time frame has been changed to five minutes, and let it load. It's calculating. So generally, when it comes to order flow, order flow is computationally a little bit intensive compared to market profile. If in case if you feel like you are not getting the scale right, you can always click on the F button so that it always comes to the actual scale. It comes and fits into the scale. and that is primarily important for setting the bank nifty so nifty and bank nifty uh, setting uh, is relatively easy however bell market profile also comes with various signals if in case if you want to use those signals you can enable those signals and you can uh, whenever the pattern matches whenever the order flow pattern matches it generates a signal uh, immediately all right so that's the thing i just want to uh, sh- talk about how to set up the nifty and bank nifty order flow and how to create a template as well so in the next video we'll try to talk more about uh, more interesting content stay tuned to our market calls channel thank you